Top five things I should know you think you should know about Lone Star Ticks. First, all life stages of Lone Star Ticks will feed on humans. And these larvae are incredibly tiny. Here's one on the back of a hand. Zoom in. Can you see it yet? Right there. Watch out for these guys. Second fact, Lone Star Ticks are on the move. When I started studying them in 2009, the extent of them was just to the southern side of Ohio and so forth. And you could see in 2024, they've moved all the way up into Maine and are certainly also now in Michigan. Fun fact number three, Lone Star Ticks are very aggressive and congregate in large numbers. So when you find one, you'll often find lots of them. All these dots on this flag here are Lone Star Nymphs. You could also see that they like Lone Star Nymphs all over the boot or Lone Star Larvae, which also come in large seed groups. Fact number four. Of course, they can be associated with a lot of different illnesses. Ehrlichiosis, Southern Tick Associated Rash Illness, Abbreviated Star Eye, Bartonella, Tularemia, and of course, the Red Meat Allergy. Fact number five. The life cycle of these particular ticks is amazing. They can live for multiple years and they can go for months to years between feeding, only feeding once per life stage. So this makes it very difficult to understand their populations and they can come and go and feel like they've disappeared, but they really are always around. Want to learn more? Follow us at ODU Tick Research Team on Facebook.